Yes, Marty Mar, this is a follow-up to the last mission. We all have a little bit of experience and a little bit of money. We didn't really spend anything. Uh, aren't a lot of good choices right at the start of the game, but we might uh, get some upgrades for next week. Yes, it's the uh, the, the second main mission in the campaign, If you, assuming you win the first one, which we did. Okay, uh, is there some, like, introductory text and stuff? Oh, you're still putting figures out. Come on. Oh, with the albino Nexu. That's funny. And by that, I mean it's a Nexu that is primed and not painted, but I'm going to call it the albino. Okay, then we're, uh, his initial deployment set up. We're going to set up our initial deployment while, is there intro text? There should be. All right, while he reads the, the opening mission thing. You've been sent to investigate a facility under the command of General Weiss. Imperial presence in the Hector sector is heavy, but a timely diversion from another team gives you an opening to sneak in. It's an odd place lacking the crisp organization you expect from the Empire. Even with the diversion, it won't take long for you to attract attention. You've been advised to make your quick, your stay as quick and as efficient as possible. We've been advised to be as quick and efficient as possible. Do we know what we're doing here? Did you read that and I missed it? We're investigating something. We've heard General Weiss is here and we don't like General Weiss. Okay. Um. Okay, guys. Uh, the players get to activate first. That's right, right? All right. Well, then we, we've been sent here to investigate. First thing I'm going to do is activate myself, and I'm going to move over here and investigate this loot crate. One, two, three, four, and activate the loot crate. Oh yeah, we we're, we're, we're talking. We might get a like a. I, I'm hoping for a Funko bobblehead out of this loot crate. Uh, yeah, Chad, shuffle it up, and I'll draw one. Oh, and Jim, there's a. Okay, and I'm gonna draw some loot. Uh, one off the top, sounds good. Chance cubes, at the end of a mission, you may discard one crate token to one, to roll one blue die. If the accuracy result is four or higher, the hero, heroes receive 200 credits. Okay, so if we, if there's a crate in the mission that we didn't do, we can discard it for a chance of free money. Now, how's it work? Oh, I have a crate, okay. At the end of the mission, we normally get money. Um, okay, so then I can I can basically bet to see maybe get more money. Okay. 
Okay, so but that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be the Empire mission. Uh, what are you doing, Jimmy? All right, I'm going to activate the Nexu. He's gonna activate the Nexu. No, he's gonna activate a probe droid because it's apparently safer. That probe droid. Double move from the probe droid. We can he move twice and shoot? Because if so, that's annoying. No, he can't. Okay. He says he has to cheat because he's the Empire. Okay. Uh, I support Wookie time. Let's go. Chad says it's Wookie time. Garkon charges at the probe droid. He takes two strain and rolls an attack with his vibro axe that is a red and a yellow die. All right, we got a damage and a surge and two blocks. That was like literally as bad as possible, Chad. And then he can attack again. Four damage and a surge. Surge cancel. So four damage. Smashes a probe droid. Okay. And that is Empire again. Use a number token or something. You're gonna use a D10 there to mark that uh that probe droid, or uh, put it on top of an extra damage die. Okay, try. <laughs> that one's the elite. So he's trying to find a way to tell them apart without putting stickers on his models. The other standard probe droid will activate. He's not going to blow up on Garkon? No. The probe droid's going to float over and shoot Garkon. Uh, four damage and a surge. Got range all day long. One block. He will s surge for... Surge, uh, spins a surge to make it four damage onto Garkon. And then he will move up one. Uh, I think Gideon should activate. He's going to take two strain to move, give Fen a free move action. So, Fen, you can move wherever you want up to your speed. Yeah, and you don't, and you have a lone wolf. Okay, and see, seems like a good place to stop, and then I actually, and then I get to do something, so I will move myself, or he, Gideon will move, uh, one, two, three, to right there, kind of puts him closest, but around a corner, and that is the Empire again. I appreciate you, that you appreciate us, Audio Weasel. Elite probe droid activates. Moves, moves four spaces and shoots Gideon. This might end badly. 
Uh, I see three damage, two surges. I got two blocks. Ugh, five damage go through on Gideon. Making sure everybody's dice is in the right place. Um, now, Finn can do something. You can do something awesome to either either one. Oh, freaking! Remember when I said you didn't want to be close to stuff, and then I moved next to you? Yeah, that's why I was laughing. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, dude. I should have started. Should have stayed here. Well, he just has to open one space, but now I've made it that he has to move instead of attack wise. Oh, no, you're not going to take any strain this turn. Because you don't want to blast on anything. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, so, uh, Finn is going to shoot the probe droid, uh, this probe droid first. Well, I, I thought that's what you said. Whatever you want to do. Oh, no, no, no. I was, um, so, I was Point of order. Um, and I don't know if I'm supposed to know this, but if you don't kill that blo that probe droid, it's gonna blow up on Garkon. Um, Probably at least that's what I would do if I was playing the probe so. droid. Um, or you could shoot the other one. I don't know, but it's not. If it blows up, it's not gonna hurt anybody. Okay, Finn's Fren gonna shoot the probe. Attacking here, there. Uh, three damage and three blocks. First attack negated entirely. So you can take another action or you can attack again. All right, shooting again. One block, two damage and a surge. Uh, you can surge for plus one. Uh, that'll deal two. Or you can, that's all you can do. Two damage on the probe, and that is the end of the turn. Wait, no. Nexu hadn't activated yet. I mean, that's scary, because Nexu are really fast. Oh, but I forgot they can't move diagonally because of the weird base. That took six movement. Next two double moves, speed of six. Let's it uh, basically sprint down that hallway. That is the end of the turn. What happens at the end of the turn? Threat goes up three. Threat, uh, threat for uh, viewer purposes is kind of the resource that the Empire gets to spend during the game. Okay, it's the hero's turn. You're gonna go hit the Nexu? It's gonna it's it's gonna pounce on somebody pretty soon. It is. Oh. Well if if you have an end of turn thing, go ahead. I would like to see you do terrible things to us. That this probe droid is gonna blow up and deal one red die worth of damage to Garkon. Two damage to Garkon. That puts him at six out of 14. Kapoo, kapow, kaboom, stuff. Uh, 
decide. We should decide if we should if we're shooting the elite probe droid or the Nexu first. I think we do the Nexu first, and we might be able to focus it out before something terrible happens because I can st I can move and then attack twice. Actually, we can both do that because you can charge. Okay, you so yeah, uh, you're up. Go ahead. Garcon's gonna activate. You can do that. Okay. Okay. Garcon will charge and hit the next. All right. Oh, we just got Bubba, who has played uh, X-Wing with us quite a lot, has decided to hop in on our uh, skirmish game. You did. He's going to be Gideon. You did take damage already, but you got some goodies there. Darkon charges, three damage on the Nexu, and then one damage and a surge. Or, uh, what do I do? Okay, and then that is... The Empire's activation. Next, who's gonna pounce somebody? He's gonna he's gonna pounce on Finn. Jump over Garcon. Uh, luckily, um, Empire figures can't attack twice unless they're a special figure that says they can. But those are gonna be ours. Ouch, she's going to do three damage on Finn and then cleave two damage to Garkon. That was a really nice pounce there, landed right between them. Uh, Garkon's at 12 out of 14. The next two is, is murdering Chad. And then the next two can still move. And that Nexu will run for the hills, which is actually a little annoying. Okay, player action. What do we? Yeah, Garcon's already gone and is gonna die soon. Um, we got three people. Uh, Finn could shoot it twice without moving. I was really hoping that I was gonna go get to beat the hell out of it, but it moved away, and I can. I'm only gonna be able to shoot it once. Uh, what can you do? Yeah, either either one of you could try to, um, Gideon or uh, uh, Gideon or Finn could shoot the Nexu twice. Do you have No, but but the right here. So you can see it. 
Yeah. We're we're thinking Gideon, it might be hard for him to hit the next zoo, but he might be able to throw a stun on it. So we're going to have Gideon uh, shoot the next zoo a couple times. Uh, two damage and three surges, one block. So, he, uh, so he's gonna deal two damage and a stun to that Nexu. I'm gonna cash in that damage. It makes it six total and a stun token. Uh, I got stun tokens here. I always forget I can yeah, you. Yep. Two, but it's done. Oh, uh, Gideon. Gideon's going to go ahead and shoot it again. Three hits, two surges. Cancel one surge. Three damage and another surge. Oh, well, the surge is irrelevant, but... The old the old bearded man clears the next zoo. Uh, that was a good decision. All right. That's the Empire. Uh, Finn and get, uh, Biv have not activated. That is Finn and Biv. Elite Probe Droid activates. He will move two and attack Finn. I mean, we've all, I'm the only one who hasn't. I, I got greedy, and so nobody's had lights. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We got a uh, hit and two surges versus two blocks. He's going to, uh, Fen's going to take three damage. Okay, and that is going to be me. How many health does that thing have? And a black die? Ugh. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to activate Biv. One, two... Three, four, take a strain to move another one. And then I will take two additional strain to use up close and personal on that thing. I'm going to punch it and then I'm going to blast it. He did that dirty thing he was doing last time where he makes me take a strain or deals surge or takes away. Uh, takes away surge on my roll. Um, I'm gonna do the thing where you take away a surge because I don't have any surge effects. <laughs> okay. All right, I got four damage. He uh, four damage, two blocks, two damage sustained, and then my range attack. Four damage, two, great. Now that thing is going to damage everybody. I thought I could kill it. I'm sorry, guys. How close are you to dying? Are you confident you can kill it? Because if not, I would move away and then shoot it. 
Let's go. All right. I mean, it's not... When it blows up, it's not going to bother me all that much, but both of you guys have taken damage. Uh, we got two damage and a surge, and one block. Uh, Finn on the probe droid. So that's it. One damage and a surge. You have surge thing. You can surge for plus one damage. That's three damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, two get through. Oh, yeah. crap. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. So that's a six, leaving it at one HP. All right. If, it, if it's only got one left, you can finish it off. Three hits. Two blocks. One goes through. And we get the probe droid. Note to my team, we still haven't figured out what the objective of the mission is yet. We've just been fighting. And wasting turns doing it. Probably has something to do with the consoles because they're all behind closed doors. We gotta investigate things like like the loot crate that gave me potential free money. Yeah, or Chad was just saying that the strategy going forward might be split up and each go for a separate door. That is the last activation for the turn. Threat goes up for th by three for the next turn. Threat is a resource you can spend to active back source. Uh. All right, so. And we're going to Uh, Empire decides to activate and, or decides not to spawn any enemies this turn. So we're going to have a round to just kind of disperse. I, I don't think splitting four ways is a good idea. Maybe we go in pairs. Splitting two or three ways is fine. So I think Gideon needs to give somebody an extra move. Maybe him an extra move. And then you can move around and open this door. And then I'll try to come around here. And you can you can follow me behind me. And then, so you all just go. So you guys will take these ways. Whoop. Just come over here. And then work your way back over here as I come back around. Or as we come back around. Yeah, that makes sense. And because Chad is clumsy, make sure this door's in the right place. Ye, ye with the map. Right there. Okay. Okay, that seems like a good idea. Yeah, I have I have movement four. Three, four. So then you'll need to use one, two, and open the door. Well, I can one, two, open the door, and then keep moving in. Yeah, but you can move. Uh, taking a move action gives you points you can spend at any time, so I can, so I can continue my move after I open the door. Yeah, I was like, is there might be traps or something? Um, I don't know, or there might just be fog of war and here and rest. Uh, Garcon's gonna. Move around. And then rest, recovering uh, strain. Okay. Next. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. You should probably... I don't know. I mean, you decide. It's like, basically the plan is, me and Gideon are going to go this way, and you can follow him if you want, or go with us. You should probably go with him, because he's going to get nuked. Um, and you also, you've taken damage, so you should rest and heal some. Oh, pretty much everything except for this base will probably have stuff in it. So, 
well, you know. That's fine. I'll, I'll, move, I'll move this way then so I can move for four. Yeah, you can move for four, and you can actually move twice and make it eight, or you could heal some, which might not be a bad idea. And then, okay, so you rest, which means you heal hit points up to your endurance because you don't have any strain tokens. So it puts you at two. Okay. Uh, Gideon, what are you doing? I'm going to give you an action so you can take... Okay, so Biv is going to move one, two, three, four. Kind of go around the corner there. Then I am going to rest. Then he's going to rest, and he'll uh, s uh, recover strain and uh, and heal a hit point. And now it is my activation. Uh... Well, now I'm over here alone, and there's a door. Oh, I don't. I'm not concerned about what's about to happen to Gideon. Okay. Now, point of order. I do. I will have. I have a strain. I will have two movement points. No, I will have three movement points and a strain left to spend after I open this door. So, if it happens automatically, I still have a chance to run away, I think. Before, unless, like, it depends on how it works. If he gets, if it's giving him an activation, then I get to run. If it's a trap, then I'm fucked. So, we'll see how it goes. All right. I will activate uh, movement action for spin the first one to move up one and open the door. Door's locked. I can't open the door. Okay, so he lets me keep my action, even though... Okay, so I interact with the door. Um, that's a complication. So how do we how do we open a locked door? Can I... Is there a skill check involved? Or... I attack a door. It has health and defense. Okay. Because my... I'm glad I can just attack, because my other idea was one of these doors isn't locked, and the terminal lets us open doors. But... Um, well, no, that costs another movement point. Well, yeah, the, 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 the movement's done, so I can't, I can't take that back. Um, and I don't have any, I don't have enough strain left to do up close and personal, so I'll just take a standard ranged attack. Bubba has a great suggestion. Now that I know the door's locked, this is this is why he's the fearless leader. Um, yeah. Uh, second action will actually be instead of doing things that are potentially dangerous, recover all my strain, and use those additional movement points to back up. <laughs> and Jimmy's over here cackling and shrugging off uh, what could have been a bloody mess. Okay. He says he'll explain why after the game. All right, everybody activated. Threat is now up to nine. That gives him a lot of points to spend on things. I don't know if, if anyone's seen this. This is off of the uh, Empire Strikes Back deleted scenes where initially there was a wampa behind the door, so yes. then the, the stormtrooper opens it up and the wampa's just... <laughs> that much. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Uh, I doubt it was a wampa, but it was probably something terrible. No, I mean, I doubt there's a Wampa right here. Anyway. Yeah. Empire's going to spend eight of his nine threat at the start of the next turn. Also, okay, a a royal guard deployment uh, happens right freaking next to me. They're gonna hit me with a stick twice. 
And the threat, I mean, and the, the round advances to turn four. <laughs> we're we're probably we're we're getting the feeling that we're halfway through with with session here. Okay. Okay. Um but do you we still activate first, right? Okay, so even though that they're yeah, they um they they cancel damage. Yeah, once the once they're revealed we can read the card. Um Face into the target space, apply a plus one defense result limit. For, that's their ability, basically. Okay. Hi, Royal Guard. Okay, correct. Um, wait, hold up. Because you could come help me, but I think I can kill one. Oh, he might could come could come help me. Um, uh, and I also like. If I can kill one, I want to do it before he gets to go because he's gonna he's gonna wail on me. Um. Uh, question for Empire slash Lord of the Rules. Um. Up close and personal is a strain ability. So I can then perform a standard attack afterwards. So if if I if I don't move, can I attack three times? No. Wait. So what is that? No, I can so I, I can up close and personal yes. and attack if I don't move. I just have to be adjacent to him be, based on this ability. Okay. So that's what I will do. I will take two strain uh, to activate up close and personal. And then first attack, uh, my melee attack, I'm going to punch him with... Yeah, up close and personal first. Three damage. We got... Uh, yeah, so he gets a uh, search cancel, which does nothing, and a protector from his buddy, so he'll cancel one. Okay, and then standard, or first uh, range attack. Uh, four damage, one block. He takes two blocks. Two more damage. And then he... I mean, I already said I'm going to do it. Yeah, so he pulls his special annoying me card. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to... I will elect to lose a surge on this attack. Um, and then shoot him with my other attack. So, four... Um, do you... Do you protector still works. Yeah. He takes three. So he doesn't die. I was really hoping I, got, I could kill one. Um. Oh, th does his his? I think his buddy gets a free attack if I kill him, right? Okay. Um. The uh, seven. Okay. Okay, and then I am gonna do one more thing because they have reach. Correct. So if I spend a strain to move this way, both of them, both of them still hit me. I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make at least one of them move to hit me. So I'm gonna spend a strain in here. That guy can't. Th this one can't hit me through his ally. Um, so I'm gonna. Sp ta I'm gonna take an extra strain and make at least one of them move. All right. We'll activate the royal guard. <laughs> Big surprise. All right. Attack Viv. Uh. Okay. The one next to me is attacking Viv. All right, four damage, two blocks. Damn. I take two. And then that one will, yeah, whatever. Well, that one will move out of the way and allow his body to hit me. Listen, my idea, my idea was sound in principle. Okay, two damage and a sur, uh, or yeah, two damage, two surges. I cancel a surge. I have 13 health. I take two damage and I'm stunned. That is rough. Remember what happened to the stun kitty and all you people who've been paying attention to our skirmish games and how much I love getting stunned? It's like my favorite thing. I'm stunned. Okay. Uh, I think 
I mean, well, yeah, like, they've activated, so they're not a threat for the rest of the turn. Um, but somebody can kill one. Yeah, we, we only need one, one uncanceled damage. What? Um, yes, but they... Uh, Michael was just saying we're talking about Jim should move over here and shoot and kill this one because he only has to get one damage through. Um, he's uh, Michael saying, yeah, he has reach, which means he can hit him right here if he doesn't die, but his buddy can't. I mean, I think it's a sound idea. Okay. Wow. Uh, you don't... Do you have anything you can add with it? No. You can pierce two for and add no damage. Wow. <laughs> Gideon rolls two surges and two blocks. Do you have things you can add with... You, you, yeah, the one damage has to go through. It's... Yeah. That doesn't work. Uh, that's disappointing. I mean, no. Yeah, that's... We knew that could happen. But he doesn't have another activation either. So you guys can keep moving down the hallway. Can you kill the door? <laughs> Garkon's gonna move up and then rest. Cash in some of that uh, jo mountain of damage tokens he has. And then Fen. I'm going to uh, hoof it. Three, four, five. No, oh, four. Um, that's where I end with four. I can do a double move. You do a double move, but you can't. You can't shoot the door after that. We can wait and do it next turn, which is fine. Um, um, because you can. Or he can he can strain through these spaces. Okay. In fact, I mean, I would do I would do it twice. You get to this corner. Okay. Um. Finn's going to run down the hallway. He's going to strain twice to move one, two. Uh, reminder, you can take in uh, campaign, you can take a strain token to add an additional movement point to your character, and he does it twice. Oh, you can only do it twice. Well, I know that. But anyway, uh, so but now he can shoot the door. Oh, dice got away. Three damage. Door takes two damage. That's everything. Or Brett goes up uh, another three points. Is that put it at three or at? Well, he no, he spent some last time. It's up to four now, and that moves the, the game timer to round four. Round five. Oh, because, yeah, round three was the one where there were no enemies. Yeah, and I can kill that dude. You can kill that dude, and I can take my action to just move or whatever. Okay. Gideon's going to activate first. He's going to command me. Can you see me? I hope so. Here. There. Yeah, you can see me. Okay. Uh, he's going to command me to shoot the Royal Guard, and I hope I'm going to kill it. Okay. Three to surge. Two blocks. I will... Three block. Ah, oh, no. Can I do something? No. I don't have any good surge abilities. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> well, then he's going to use his second action to just shoot it. When in doubt, just shoot it. 
There's some damage. Oh, two, but but no, but you can pierce. Pierce two and deal two damage. No, I mean there's there's a. Oh, and his, uh, that royal guard, because his ally died next to him, gets a focus token. Which he's about to hit me with it. Yes. I bet, you know, it's, you're more likely to kill him. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't bit. Biv can't attack because he's stunned. The attack whiffed anyway, but you're totally right. So we totally broke the rules, but it didn't matter because the dice, like, the dice failed me anyway. Oh, no, that he gets a second action, though. No. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we just cheated. Whatever. Worst things have happened. Oh, no, I forgot he got reach. <laughs> yeah, focus. Uh, he still died. Um... The Royal Guard's going to hit Biv for a lot. I see five damage and a surge. Two blocks. Three damage and a surge. Can't stun me again. Ha, ha. I'm already stunned. Plus two damage. Five damage. Add a five. I think I'd rather be stunned again. <laughs> Actually, I would, I would never rather be stunned again. Not unless your card says you can. Like, uh, you... Anyone left still left in the chat room? I haven't seen any activity in a while. AW, that was a while ago. Alright. Okay, Garcon's gonna charge the door. Woo! That was my Wookiee roar, it was terrible. Takes two strain. That's four damage and two surges. It's, he just moves the door out of the way. It doesn't matter. Door opens. All right. I have choices to make. I'm not going to let them know what the other choices are. Um, but the one I'm going to pick is increase threat by six. Empire decides to increase threat by six when the door opens. That goes up to 10. Okay, you do have another action, though, Garkon. So... See, I'm... There's... Go... One, two, three... Four. And he kind of runs over there and hangs out in the corner. And that is the Empire. Does the Empire have anything to do? Okay. Well, in that case, should I open this door? I might die. So, or he might just spawn General Weiss, which would be equally terrible. Yes. Especially not... I haven't gone. I mean, uh, you're the only one who did. Oh, no. Gideon did. Okay, never mind. Um, then, yeah, I'll activate. I will. I'll move one. And. No. I can't. I'm stunned. I keep. For, it's. Whenever I do skirmish, it's usually on the figure, so I always forget. Um, I lose an action. I mean, yeah, I just. I spend an action to discard it, then I can't open the door. Um, I can shoot the door. I, I, I'm just going to shoot the door. Shoot the door. Three damage and a surge. Can't surge. Two damage on the door. And then Fen is up. All right. 
Um, so we think sure. Yeah, you probably get the freight. So I should probably try to just make it down this way. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. and yeah, the the Royal Guard can move five and can hit you from two squares away. Yeah, so what we'll do is oh, one, two. So go. I think that has been safe. Okay, and then how many spaces did you move? Because I think you should rest. You moved four, which is your speed, so take your second action to rest. It removes two of your strain and, and two of your health, yep. One of us is back to full. And that's everybody, I think. It is. Oh. Threat goes to 13. I am going to... Redeploy. I'm going to spend eight to put the Royal Guard back in. Just eight. Or oh, sorry, four, yeah. Sorry, spend. Spend f you, uh, he's going to spend four to recover that Royal Guard, not do a new deployment card. Don't spend. Um, weren't okay. weren't sure if the reinforcement goes on a spawn point or next to his ally, so uh, he just made a decision and put him on a spawn point. And then he's going to spend five points to deploy an elite imperial officer. Uh, Bubba says that sounds bad. Basically, he can tell... He does what you do. He can tell his allies to move or attack us. Stun and... Uh, right, Reroll defense. All right. Part. The fun part. Five. Out of the fo foliage burst a bipedal scout walker unlike any you've seen. The terrifying vi vehicle bristles with weaponry. Weapon forces. Rebel forces, sorry. An amplified voice issues from the monstrous walker. This is General Vitsen Weiss of the Imperial Army. You are surrounded, severely outgunned. Surrender, and I swear mercy shall be granted. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is Chad saying my give up? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, and it's right next to Finn. Do it. Do it. All right, I'm glad I'm undercover. Shoot. Actually, it can even see Gideon, so either one is a good target. <laughs> uh, in fact, I think he can attack twice, right? And he gets to choose his dice. Uh, I no, 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 because because of this, it might be hard. But he doesn't have assault. Okay, so I was mistaken. He only attacked. Yeah, that's well. He also says that's what the elite officers for, because uh, he can move up and tell them attack to attack again. We get to activate first. Four points. We're not even. We're not even into the score, like into the turn yet. He's still spending things to kill us with. And then a probe droid will redeploy uh, over there in the corner. We, okay, we're we're getting close to the end of the game here. We only have one or two rounds left. Um, probably. Frank. Uh, we. Yeah, I mean, just in general, running for objectives is the best idea. That being said, Fen's about to get nuked, so. <laughs> Fit. 
I, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Chad thinks Finn might should just take it from the probe droid instead of the ATSD. Can we still win if Finn dies? <laughs> yeah, in fact, you can. It you can really die twice. Like you're 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 if you you flip your card over and you're weakened. What? You, he is not near any of the objectives. Forget him. We need you to get in that door so that we are at least near two of the consoles. Okay. Yeah. We we got we might have to we might have to run for the objectives and sacrifice a couple of teammates. Um. So I'm gonna activate first. Um. Also, the there's also this console here. We probably don't want to forget about, but. Yeah, we gotta get we we gotta go after the ones that we can. So maybe let him. Do you, what, do you want to activate, or we can let? Because you're within three, I can give you the free attack. I'll move and attack the door also. That way we get that door down. That's a great idea. Okay. Uh, so Gideon, I I said I was gonna activate. Gideon's gonna activate. He's going to give me a free attack on the door. I'm not stunned anymore, right? Yeah. Four da uh, three damage and a surge. Surges are useless on this character. All right. So two more damage. Yeah. Um. So the, then you can take a strain to move one and then attack. And you don't. Do you have? You're. You have better endurance than us. Right. Uh, you're. Yep. Two damage and a bunch of surge. That opens the door. <laughs> yes, there's a Nexu in the door. <laughs> Go team. <coughs> and it's freaking, it's going to cleave us. <laughs> Run for the goal. Yeah, that's both his and he. Um, yeah, I mean he could, and he can't spend any more strength because he got his endurance is full. My action. Um. Wow. This is like a smorgasbord here. The uh, is happy. Yeah. The the empire's happy. He's deciding what terrible uh, thing he wants to do to us first. Take it. Term Pika. Bend over. Here it comes. <laughs> Dwice is about to nuke. Yeah. Uh, no, oh you, you, you can only, yeah, General Weiss gets to pick his dice. I believe you can only do two of the same color. So you're going to go with the one with the surges. Of course you are. Well, the surges are bad. Yeah, okay. Okay. We got four and a surge on Weiss. Four pierce two. Uh, Finn takes two damage straight up, or takes four damage straight up. Uh, he it it could have been a lot worse. Those, um, with with two red damage, like his or two red dice, his max damage there was eight. Oh yeah, and now the weird movement of the AT ATST. Okay. Right. I would I'm not in danger with the Garkon, so I would suggest one of those two backing up or trying to kill something. Like, I think he's fine trying to attack the uh, the pro droid, or you're fine trying to back up in here and just be like four spaces away from this guy, so he can't quite pounce on. You. Uh, I'm gonna run in the hallway and shoot the terminal. One, two. No. I have to interact with the terminal, not kill it. Which means I can't get all the way there. I can only, I can only strain to move once. Well, I have three. I have four endurance. Yeah, I have, I have too many strain to move to it and then get like, keep my action and interact with it again.
Or I can go over here and interact with Loot Crate. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we can't win the we can't win the mission, go for the treasure. They're all dead. Hey guys, look what I <laughs> Yeah, if if my corpse is covered in loot crate, it might like we it's still not good for us. Hey, um I'm just gonna double move and go hide in that corner by the terminal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I couldn't kill it with one attack. Bob is complaining because I ran away and left him to, left him to die by Nexu. And he can't really run away because that puts him in view of the ATST. She's gonna run all the way down the hallway and pounce on me anyway. Activates the Nexu. Two, three, four, five, six, pounce. What's up? You do five da you do four damage, you kill me. We might not win this day win this uh this mission. Three blocks! Uh two damage and a surge. Pierce two. So I take one more. I am not dead. I'm not in good shape, but I'm alive. Okay, uh, Garcon interacts with the console. It's red. That means. Okay, so it's a skill check. Uh, for this skill, he gets a blue, a green, and a yellow die. He has to roll at least two surges. That's easy with those dice. He only got one. I sh spoke too soon. But yeah, wait, we can we can interact again. So he's gonna try twice. Got it this time. The ceiling has collapsed here, burying the vicinity in rubble. With substantial effort, you dig through it and find the terminal. By some minor miracle, it still functions and even contains useful data. It would seem that the purpose of this outpost has been research and development, since most of the data re relates to engineering, prototype assault craft, armor, and weapons. Messages from General Weiss are throughout, and it's clear that he's involved in many of the aspects of all listed projects. That's fascinating. I'm glad we know that. Um, yeah, we found out the boss was was the boss. Okay, that's... Empire is up. Imperial officer orders the Royal Guard to move. Move to five, and then we'll move four spaces. We're probably going to... What well, it's it's important to note that Weiss can't attack again this turn. He just used his second opportunity to make an attack by activating the Imperial Um but it you're you're running towards Weiss. So next turn he's gonna he's gonna nuke you and those Royal Guards haven't activated yet. Neither is the probe. You're you're the only one who hasn't gone, right? If Finn runs, he can get there. That's strange. How many? 
have no strain. Your speed and you have no strain. That means you can. Uh, Finn has uh, speed, um, speed four and strain. He can move ten spaces. You stra uh, strain twice per turn to add two. You can do a double move action. That means you can move. Yeah, it means you can move a total of ten spaces this round. Uh, don't cross enemies or lines. Red lines or blue lines. <laughs> One, two. Uh, black lines you can't cross at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That gets you a good distance. That's, I don't know if we're going to get all the way there. Uh, count it again. Bag. And then that gives you two strength. Because we have to, we're going to have to shoot the door down. Okay, see you in the turn. Oh no, he still got royal guard. That's I. I tried to cheat. Uh, he still got royal guards and uh, robe droids. That turn, lone wolf caused me to clear the strain, right? So I can oh. those off. Yeah, we forgot about Finn's nifty lone wolf of, of one lone wolf ability. He can recover one strain at the end of his activation if he's by himself. Gonna run over there and attack Finn, says the Royal Guard. Finn might die. Two and a surge. He's not gonna die, he's gonna be stunned. No! Oh. Two damage and a surge, canceled by three blocks. Uh. Take a damage. View five, cool. Do we have any left? Yeah. Where are all my like, fives? Your Royal Guard attacks Gideon, Gideon for three and a surge versus three blocks. We'll surge for two damage. That is the end of the turn. We're gonna do another blurb droid. That's a paper. Whatever. That begins round seven. Does the threat go up? Did it already go up? All right, I want to try to interact twice and fix, open this, activate this terminal. Okay. What, don't I ha do I have to, do I have skill check? Oh, it's green. Okay, it's a green terminal, which means the skill check to right here. That's awful. I get, I got to get two surges on a green and a blue. That's terrible, but not highly likely. One surge. Fail. Attempt again. Second action. Do it again. Failed twice. All right, next, Sue, you can have your way with me. <laughs> it's not looking good for the, for the Rebels, guys. You can't. You can't do it. Uh. 
Uh, Imperial officer activates. Tells that royal guard to attack Ben. No, he's not. Officer is actually going to tell Weiss what to do. The officer doesn't move. We we get less reward. Like we're not not over. Okay, new strategy. We were. We're probably conceding the objectives and going after the loot. Draw one, draw a card from the supply deck. Shovel it up. Valuable goods. Discard this card at the end of mission to receive 100 credits. I don't know why I repeated that. It didn't uh, just give him the mic. He was, he's standing right, sitting right next to me. No, you. Oh, All Weiss is moving. Did you order? I can't. Hey, And then he will attack Finn. With a blue and a red and a red. S seven damage. A surge cancel, which cancels nothing. Finn got nuked. You're not dead. You're not dead. You're wounded. Flip your card over. You're just... You're You get dice with the surgeons. Yeah, Chad, open the crate. Uh, yeah, but you're, I mean, you're worse overall. You're, you. I mean, at this point. Okay, Chad uh, moves up, opens the loot. It is drawn, reveal all deployment cards in the Imperial player's hand and reserve. Then return those cards to his hand and reserve and discard this Well, that's useless now. What do we got left? Another next suit, another elite probe. That would have been, that would have been a, a decent first one to get. Oh, and this chance. So get any now on any mission. Is that? Right. 
realizing that Gideon can't. He he's maxed out on strain. And he's not so he's not going to get to that last crate. All right. All right. Yes. Concede. Uh, we're giving the Empire the mic and seeing what happens to it. All right. Although the mission isn't complete, you can't possibly see a way to punch through the Imperial forces because forces continuing to fire upon your position. Only through a risky and foolish, foolish rescue maneuver from your pilot are you able to make your escape. From the little information you are able to find, Alliance High Command has discovered rumors of a new weapon under, construct, under the development of General Weiss. Nothing more is known thus far, but at least the mission wasn't a complete failure. Place, place story mission fly solo into play, and the Imperial player receives one EXP for winning. Then additional rewards. Every player gets one EXP and receives 100 credits per hero. The Imperial player gains one influence. And I get another I get another influence because y'all did not receive y'all did not investigate all the terminals. So in simpler terms, in case anyone is unclear. We lost. <laughs> okay, so uh, we got some uh, bookkeeping to do to keep track of our, uh, make sure that we keep track of all the things that we win, and we might do some experience buying and stuff. Uh, I, while we're still alive, I'm going to use this chance cubes card, this card, allu do I, first of all, is there a benefit for having these at the end? Okay, so, wait, we're going to get 50 credits out of those two, and I'll try to cash this win. I got a five. I get 200 credits. If I roll four better, I get 200 credits. Seven. Eight. 800, including those two. Okay. So we now have, uh, the party has 800 credits to spend amongst us. Okay. But, uh, yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, really, uh, really appreciate anyone who's stuck it out for this long. And I, I know we're, uh, Worlds was still on the screen up here. So you're, if you're not, if you weren't watching that, then I really applaud you. Uh, Keep uh, stay tuned for updates. Next Wednesday, we'll be back with uh, some X-wing. I'm going to be showing off my brand new repaint by Imperial Ace ninety three. Um, wh what else is going on? Uh, Fly casual. Uh, you should spend the rest of your week watching Worlds, mostly because I can't because I got to work at the shop all week, counting a lot of things. What? Uh, it's it's all week. Yeah, uh, X-wing is tomorrow. Armada is Thursday and Friday. Imperial Assault is this weekend. Uh, yeah. So we're going to wrap it up. Have a good night, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, thanks for watching. We will uh, be back with this in two weeks with a skirmish mission. Oh, and I left the freaking nameplates on during the entire uh, the entire skirmish. That's okay. But uh, have a good night, everybody.